an OECD, even the World Bank? Do these institutions come to the rescue, or is it as it's been since the Atlantic Charter, the U.S. comes to the rescue? I think it's got to be the community of nations that comes to the rescue and, and, and not their agents, the IMF and the World Bank. The Europeans are... What do you need to see from Merkel and Macron then? Well, I think they need to work with uh, the Brits and the Chinese and others. Trump has weaponized the dollar. I think they will move. What do you mean by that? That's well, very important. What, discuss the weaponization of the dollar, given the exorbitant privilege, your wonderful book of three years ago. Well, the dollar remains the, the dominant international currency, and Trump is using that fact to threaten European companies and governments, uh, that they will lose access to dollar financing and U.S. bank funding if they continue to do business with Iran. Can the president win that battle? I think he can uh, win it in the short run, but the longer run consequence will be that the Europeans and Chinese and others build an alternative. I think that alternative is the euro, and uh, we've seen this once before, a foreign policy right. shock and uh, institutional response leading to uh, a change in, in the dominant global currency. That was World War I and the advent of the Fed leading to the rise of the dollar. This time it could be the euro and this diplomatic shock. Does a so he doesn't mention cryptocurrency and obviously I, I don't think that crypto would compare to the euro and other countries can move to other currencies but this weaponization of the dollar and countries wanting to move off the dollar and basically all just the global instability could be a great uh, opportunity for crypto, uh, especially for countries that don't want to pick sides or um, if this in instability happens in these markets, uh, crypto might become the safe haven. So it's really important you guys pay attention to this, follow this, see what happens. But once again, this seems like short term, it's not good for crypto uh, if you're a U.S. Uh, investor, your dollar is strong, so other assets are obviously going to be weak. But if it does flip and the dollar becomes very weak, uh, the people holding crypto, at least in the U.S., will be uh, laughing straight to the bank. But let me know what you guys think, and I will talk to you guys soon.